Today I'm going to be talking to you about a book in our nonfiction section. It's called The Freedom Summer Murders by Don Mitchell. It's a nonfiction book that tells the story of three young men who were brutally murdered during the civil rights movement. This is a great resource for some of our junior classes who are working on their historical investigation research paper in English. I know that you have been given a historical event and you've been asked to research not only what is happening, but why it happened. Um, and so this, I think, is a great book for those of you who are dealing with civil rights topics. And I know that a few of you are dealing with um, some of the three men that are in this book specifically. The introduction to the book takes us through the um, background that we need to understand what happened to these young men. It sets up the situation and, and gives us a picture of what life was like in the South, both for African Americans and for whites. It details the violence that was faced by those who dared to fight racism and prejudice and segregation in the South. Um, and it also details the increasing um, violence, the, the increasing number of riots and disappearances of civil rights leaders, assassinations and murders especially during the summer of 1964, which was a pretty violent summer for the civil rights movement. And by violent, I mean violence done against civil rights leaders. Um, the summer of 1964 was called the Freedom Summer. And at that time, there was a big push in the movement to get African Americans to register to vote. Registering to vote, even the act of registering to vote, was really difficult for uh, the black community. Um, whites made it incredibly difficult with tests that they had to pass and even threats of violence. And so um, the civil rights movement organized voter registration drives where volunteers would come into these communities, these black communities, to educate the community and really rally their support and get them to go out and register to vote and take that that huge risk. Um, in the summer of, of 1964, um, specifically there was a group of over a hundred volunteers from the north who met up at a college in Ohio. They were trained in how to run these voter registration drives and then they went into Mississippi um, to make contact with the black communities there and get them to register. Um, these civil rights workers risked everything um, and were really walking into a hotbed of racial prejudice, which was Mississippi at the time. The rest of the book details the events surrounding the murder of these three young men. Um, James Cheney, who was a black man, Andrew Goodman, a white man, and Michael Schwarmer, another white man. All three of these young men volunteers in the movement. These civil rights workers um, lost their lives standing up for freedom and justice. And so the rest of the book details their murders. It details the events leading up to the murders and it, and it talks about and takes us step by step through the trials of the murderers um, after the fact. Now, I'm not going to tell you if the murderers were ever found guilty because you need to read the book to figure that out. And it's, um, it's a really interesting <clears throat> and sad read. Um, I'll have to say that this book was really hard for me to put down. There were times when I just wanted to cry and there were times when I was so incredibly angry that people could be this way and that these things actually happened in our history. Um, so even if you're not doing a, a specific research project on this topic, I really highly recommend this book. It is very well written, very easy to understand, and it will make you very passionate about the topic. There are two formats for this book. The first format that you're all familiar with is the old-fashioned book that you can check out from our shelves. And yes, we have this book. The other format that you may not be as familiar with is the ebook format. You can get this book electronically and I can show you how to do that if you come to the front desk. Um, but I want to show you what that ebook looks like and how you can work with it online because if you're using this book for research, checking out the ebook version may really help you in your research and I'll show you why in just a second. So this is the ebook version of The Freedom Summer Murders by Don Mitchell. And I want to call your attention to a few things. 
First of all, we have a lot of options right here. If you click on this menu right here, it will bring you the whole menu. You can get an overview of the book, which gives you an overview. Click on it again and we can search, but I'm gonna hold off on that for a moment and let's skip to chapters. Just like in a regular book, at the beginning of the book, you have the chapters. The nice thing about an ebook is that I can click on any of these chapters and it will take me directly to that chapter. The next thing that I wanna show you is the ability to mark things. I love this part. If, for example, I want to um, mark this chapter, this, this passage right here, I'm gonna hold down that word and I'm going to highlight everything that I wanna keep, okay? And drag it down. Now I can ask it to define it, highlight or search it. I'm gonna highlight it. And I think I will make it yellow is just fine, but I wanna create a note. And in this note, I want to say, um, let's see, hopeless situation for African Americans in the South. And I know that I didn't capitalize and things like that, but these are just notes. And then I can say done. And I can continue to do this through my reading. And then what's gonna happen, if I go back over here and I click on my marks, it will save everything for me. I can search by bookmarks. Maybe I just marked a certain page. I can search just by the things that I highlighted, or I can look at everything and it puts it all together. And then I can go back and I can click specifically on just those things that I highlighted. Let's take a look at what it would do for notes. So here is my highlighting. And when I click on it, my note comes back up. So just a really cool feature with eBooks, the ability to write in a book. You can't write in your library books unless it's an eBook, folks. Okay. Next, we have readability settings. That's another cool feature, especially for someone like me who is blind as a bat, because you are able to make the text larger or smaller, whatever is most comfortable for you. You can change the lighting for day or night, okay? Um, you can make it more legible. You can do it in a scholarly fashion. You can make it look like a paperback with a cream background. And this part really is exciting, especially for those of you who are dyslexic or have um, some reading disabilities. When you click on this, it actually puts the font into um, a type that is easier for readers who have dyslexia. So that's pretty cool there, open dyslexic. We've got the publisher's default, but maybe you're just super picky and you have got to read this in constant Constantia. If you don't read the whole thing in that font, it's just gonna drive you nuts. You can change whether it's justified to the left or justified to the center. You can change your line spacing, whatever makes it more comfortable for you as a reader. I know that for me, I make the text really super big. So those are your readability settings. Click on this again. You can have offline access if you're going someplace and you know that you're not gonna be able to be online, but you still wanna read. You can get access to it offline. And there are a lot of other tips, tricks, and strategies that you can look at in their tips and secrets section. And down here, you notice that I have this tool button, and this allows me to do a lot of things. This allows me to um, take my pen, and I can, let's go in red here, and I can actually write on the screen, and maybe I'm gonna say, Fear. I'm not a very good screenwriter, but maybe this is good for motivation of fear. Um, so it allows me to also wipe the screen clean, which is kind of nice, but that's your toolbox. A lot of things that are available in the ebook format. Another feature that I want to share with you today is the search feature. So again, we click on our main menu here and go down to search. And let's say reading through this book, you want to really focus in on certain motivations that you need to prove in your writing. And one of those motivations is fear. So we go ahead and we click on this and we type in fear. 
And what this will do is this is going to search through the book and find all the passages having to do with fear. And we can scroll through these until we find one that really fits um, fear. And um, once we find one, I'll just pick this one here. Whoopsie. Once we find one, it'll go straight to that passage, show us where fear is. And if it's a passage that we really want, again, remember that we can go ahead and highlight that passage. We can um, highlight it. Maybe we'll highlight fear in pink. And then we'll put a little note here saying fear as a motivation. And we're done. So whether you choose to check out the book the old fashioned way or via ebook checkout, just come to the library and it's waiting for you. And if you need any help, just let me know. Thanks so much.